Everything is so laggy. <clears throat> okay, I think we're <laughs> I think we're good here. Just gotta get the old uh, stream description updated, and we'll be good to get going here. Page unresponsive. What is going on with my computer? Yeah, it's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. <clears throat> it's all going to be good. <clears throat> Including my voice. Sorry in advance about that. I ate a very cheese heavy sandwich and then a donut before I started recording, so not the best for vocal clarity. I've uh, got some tea here steeping, so hopefully we can get through that. So, last stream before my vacation, um, and unfortunately going to have to keep this one kind of short, uh, looking to target just about two hours or a little under if I have to make the decision about starting a new bag or something like that, starting from like the hour 40, hour and a half, hour 40 mark, something like that. I'm going to have to err on the side of shorter because I still have a ton of stuff to do. And I have to work tonight, which I usually don't on Mondays, but <clears throat> trying to bank up a few extra hours so that I don't use up all of my PTO for the whole year, which I still might, but I, I mean, at least I'll still get paid for the whole time I'm gone. So, uh, that being said, we are starting a big project today because I just can't wait anymore. We've got the A-frame cabin. I'm really excited about this one. It reminds me a lot of the tree house, which I really, really loved. Um, if it's even a, as a half as good as the tree house, it's going to be a really great set. Um, so yeah, we're, let's check it out here. I'm sure we're going to have an absolutely beautiful manual and everything here too. Um, it uh you know these ideas uh sets always have like really dope like interviews and everything yeah, plastic bags still unfortunately it would be really nice if this cool outdoorsy set was the beginning of the uh paper bags, but we've got paper uh, wrapped instructions at least. Let's dig into this here. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Got a couple booklets in here. Okay. So we got two instruction booklets. Daytime and nighttime these really nice illustrations on them so that's great set aside two we're definitely not going to get into that today let's see what we got here we're making our packaging more sustainable i i hope to see it someday i mean someone online very astutely pointed out that they probably just have like a million of the these bags like they have all this stuff all ready to go so a-frame cabin, super cool stuff. I'm not going to read through all this right now. That's how you'll know I'm getting really poor and starved for content, is if I start reading the uh, manuals. But, uh, 
yeah, a bunch of cool stuff in here, it looks like. Got... Yeah. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, so one, two, three, four is kind of a first chunk. So maybe we'll see if we if we can't make that our target for today. <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. Um, let's see here. Okay, cool. So now we just have to find the bags. 14, 12, 11. Well, we're going to do the thing we always do where we kind of try to organize them so that they're easier to pull out later. Let's see here. Get that out of the way. 14. So, this being 14 leads me to believe this is probably close to the end. 15, 15 okay. Bag number 3. I need that one. 11, 8, 9, more 11, <clears throat> more 8, 2, that's good, 5, like a 2,000 piece set, so definitely going to be a, definitely going to be a uh, intense one here. We got a canoe and just some base plates, we'll set those aside. Base plates might come into play rather quickly. There's bag number four. sizable ones. Alright, so let's see. 15 into the bottom. 14, 13 into the bottom. 12, all of the 11s. All of the 10s. 9. here for now as we said once before I'm gonna say it like a million more times during the stream probably we will be returning to this a Monday April 3rd should be um, since we will be uh, out of the country next week Wow leave in four days. That's so crazy. I have so much left to do still. Uh, but we can pack later. Right now, we're going to build some Legos. So let's uh, get going here. Three bag number one. Get the tea going. Bag number one, let's get into it here. Let's see. Got a couple of small bags, it looks like. Pop screen again. Sure, yeah, we'll 
looking good. Cool. Our brick separator, gotta have that. So many of them. So, so many. And we're just gonna do all this on one here. This bag's pretty little. Okay. So, start out with a couple of minifigures here. I was already kind of thinking about how to display this. Definitely going to display it somewhere with my treehouse. Get kind of a little nature preserve going. So let's see here for our minifigures we've got. Ooh, look at that nice fleecy vest. Some boots. Backpack for this fine gentleman. This fine mustachioed gentleman. A couple of different faces here. So we've got a nice little smile. And kind of see it. And then we've got a nice big hearty laugh there. We're going to go with big hearty laugh. That's definitely our vibe. Give him his nice hair there. All right, there we go. Kind of focus there for a second. You can see he's, ah, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ha. He's having a great day out in nature. That's lovely. It's actually pretty nice out today, too. I was kind of hoping to get outside for a little bit. I mean, I kind of did. I did some errands earlier. I drove around with the windows down. Walked around a little bit. Okay, let's see. And then we're looking for green pants. With a nice knit sweater here. Oh, I bet that's a comfy, comfy sweater. Print on the back as well. And a couple faces for her as well. We got a smile. And we got more of kind of a smirk. Maybe she's maybe she's gonna be smirking. Maybe she's a little smirky jerky. There's nothing wrong with being a smirky jerky, though. Oh, he's so happy, though. Maybe she's not a smirky jerky. There we go. Let's see. These minifigures, the designers, that's, it looked like it was a team of four designers, and I think there's four minifigures. Let's check the picture. Maybe, maybe not. Unse, Kenza, Justin, Ali. Well, maybe. I can't even remember what the other two minifigures look like right now. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, okay. So, let's get into it here, shall we? It's always so interesting seeing where the builds start out. Oh, we got an acorn here. Extra piece. Four by one. Okay. Is this a flag? What flag is that? Is it Mexico or Italy? I 
shit nowadays. Well, this would be Mexico. Or Italy. They're the same. Italian flag. Green, white, red. Mexico flag is green, white, red too, but with like the uh, eagle in the middle, so I guess this is Italy. Alright. Anyway. I wonder if that's an Easter egg that's going to get covered up, or if it's a thing. I really don't have a good sense of where we are. Uh, geographically in the build yet even really so hard to say for sure Nice hearty Lego blocks here. You know I always enjoy it when there's some big chunky blocks in a build. So it's not terribly common in most modern sets, but you can use them as a, a foundation of a structure or the like. it has been a very it's been a very long week it's been a very long week for me I worked a lot of hours and uh, all busy weekend with st. Patrick's Day and the like all the March Madness stuff going on Des Moines hosted a few of the uh, first and second round uh, March Madness games at our arena downtown so we uh we had a big uh, week from that we're not even super close to downtown but we definitely come up when you google best pizza in des moines so we had a quite a fair bit of traffic a lot of people Expecting that the food would be faster than it typically is at our restaurant. Not really a fast food joint, we are. Okay. There we go. Okay. Getting our A frame frame. Blocks. Go right here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now the 
this is Lego. This is Lego right here. Nice. coming out not symmetrically though what the tea was supposed to help me avoid. I didn't swallow it confidently enough. <clears throat> I fear. Okay, let's see here. Is this going to go block? Three by one. Stud not on top, recessed pieces, and Technic T. Okay, mirrored. some areas here. Green, so we get to indicate our sides here. That is good. in here. This is some Old West material. Find out what it represents on this model. 
definitely had an old-timey, like, jail set when I was a kid. I just saw it new in a box at, uh, at one of our local stores that sells Legos, JCD and Hobby. Um, and I was very, uh, nostalgic about that. It was also very expensive still in the box. But I got hours and hours and hours of enjoyment out of that set, so you can't regret stuff like that. I know people will be like, oh, if I'd saved all these toys I had when I was a kid, it'd be worth so much now. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. You were a child, and it was a toy, and you played with it. You did the right thing. Unless you hated it, I guess. If it was a toy that you hated, and now it's worth a lot, then you messed up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Why would you know? You know, you have no idea what will become valuable and what won't. So it's kind of foolish to uh, worry about things like that. Okay. Cross beams here. Oop, almost forgot the stud on top piece for this side. There we go. Alright. That's going to be bag one in the books. You know, oh, this stuff's going to get covered up, I'm assuming. Don't know what any of that stuff is supposed to be, but. Let's see here. Store our extra pieces in here? Yeah, we sure can. Just gotta clean up a little bit. Ooh, I have so many picks. Keep forgetting to put these back into my guitar case. Alright. We get one extra acorn out of this. That's kind of fun. All right, bag number one. Fresh and ready. Let's see here. Bag number two. A little smaller. A little bit smaller than the previous. Wow, look at all these hammers. There's like a million hammers. That's weird. Where are all the hammers gonna go? Well, we're gonna find out together, eh? Bag number two. Oh, yep, so we're gonna cover all this up. It's so peculiar. But we like it when there's hidden stuff. Let's just open this last piece in here. It's this cool canoe. Fun. Classic Lego piece. Don't know if I've ever had in this color before, but... Alright, so... all these studs. Oh, there's something else in here too. A whip. That's curious. Why was the whip in that bag? Very, very strange. I'll have to keep the whip in with the extra pieces as well. And then hopefully remember in like two weeks or whatever when we get to a part in the instructions where it's like here's a whip it's not in a bag just a whip you're supposed to have probably remember because that's pretty bizarre like all right so we get an idea of how big our cabin is going to be here pretty good size 
$180 set, you know, it's, I don't think it's a super big, uh, set for the, for the price, but it's a really beautiful design, so, it's, you know, it's with the ideas ones, you're always kind of paying a little premium for stuff like this. All right, so hammers, huh? Let's see here. What we got offset hammers are gonna go sideways into these. So curious. All right, the hammers can get depressed all the way in because these stud not on top pieces do not have. Openings in the back. Okay. So weird. But all right. More hammers. War hammers? More hammers. Let's see here. Okay. Is it going to be bricks? Sideways? That's pretty cool. I bet it is. I bet it is something like that. Golly. Got to get on there straight. All right, next time we're going to put the hammers into the pins and then place the pins. Okay, there we go. Got them lined up, I think, here. And let's see. Something to secure these bad boys. Well, that's an interesting piece. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Pretty cool. Okay. L coming up the other way, so yeah, offset for to accommodate this. Stone on top, yep, and then this does go right on here, okay. Okay, some more hammers, all right. So yeah, this time it even says, yeah, assemble it in advance. These must be Thor hammers, right? Look in there. Try to make sure they're lining up parallel to each other. Okay, and then, then yet another round of these, all right. going to build both of these and then I'll look at if they're lined up properly. Nope. Oops. Oh, where'd you go, little feller? Just a moment. Oh, there we go. Let's 
so hard to get parallel. Okay. We got it reasonable. clips here. And more tiles. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. Do it again, she says. 2x on this. Wild. All right. Hammer, round two. Sometimes I try to do these double up builds by memory, but That ain't happening here. There's there's no way. There's no way. So many hammers. So let's see. Let's see. There's nine on that one. So 18... 18 hammers. That is pretty wild. It's a really cool way to do this detail. Like, 100%. Very, very interesting build technique. So finicky. And of course, me having a dumb perfectionist streak is not very helpful to alleviating the stress of trying to get these all these hammers lined up just exactly so. Okay, so this thing occupies the slot of a spacer here, but otherwise it's just all spacers. Before placing it on the model. Pretty good. OK. 
Okay, six down. Hi, Chester. We got a cat. Oh, no, he thought the better of it. I acknowledged his presence and he decided that wasn't for him on this day. That one's actually good, I think. This one, I'll try it. Looking pretty good. Solid enough, okay, and then just the last black one, right? Oh, we lined that up perfectly, actually, just through sheer luck. Either luck or muscle memory from having inserted 18 hammers into slots. Cool. So let's see. So these clip on to these. So these aren't actually anything at all visual. They're just a building technique, so slot these in. Let's see. I'm gonna apply pressure evenly. I don't want to accidentally mess up all my hammers here. Okay. Pretty good. This side, it's got to be the same, right? No, this side, good thing I looked, this side wants the five hammers on top. So, okay, we give it to it. Five hammers on top. Haha, -ha. looks awesome. That is cool. That is cool. All right, and that was most of this bag, honestly. Let's see what else. What else we got here? What else we got? A couple of these guys. I think this stud is just a spacer. Oh, sorry, Pearl. Knocked over our pearl here. My favorite Steven Universe character. He said not having finished the show, so don't tell me if Pearl does something terrible later. She's imperfect like all of the characters of that show, which is part of why it's so great. I should get back to that. I'm going to watch the pilot later today. Just for fun. All right, let's see here. So we got slat, slat, slat with studs. Oh, yes, yes, I like this variable texture we've got going on here. Two of these, all right. I'm just gonna build these in parallel, I think. Two, 
three, four. Okay. Studs. That. Okay. <clears throat> and this one, same thing. here so these just are yeah on the patio, something like that. Cool. Oh yeah, gotta get these in place first. And then uh, one, two, three, four, extra pieces. Very good drop those right into my tea. So let me finish this. It's not even caffeinated. I should have made caffeinated. All right. Cool. So we've got a very good looking rectangle here. We're going to get into bag three in just a second, but first, since this is the midway point, I'm going to go get something else to drink. Keep trying to soothe my uh, voice box a little bit here. So just give me a scooch, and I will be right back. I'm just going to be grabbing a can from the basement. So I shouldn't take but a moment here. see it all right okay bag number three yeah I see you kitten I'm not chasing you I think it's just trying to play in his own weird way in a scaredy cat way let's see here We're already going to get to do a little bit of our cute interior detailing here, looks like. Which is great, we live for that stuff. Oh, it's blowing up. I think our band page must have done something. Because I'm getting a lot of notifications. Okay, so. Let's see here.
That's a cat hair. Be gone. Lots of these little wedges all along the sides here. Hey, a mold error. You don't see it very often in the actual Lego bricks. I was kind of becoming pretty accustomed to seeing it in the blue bricks ones. single one. Interesting. Vent over top. Straight there. Okay. Build up some stuff here. Studs out there. Studs in space. Okay. Put some sort of cute detail on those eventually, I'm sure. Blue color goes right here. Um, black ingots. Just forever refer to these as ingots because of the blacksmith set. And obviously, they're used to convey a number of different details. Oh, 
bunch of stud not on top pieces. to get studs not on top. studs. Let's just have lots of awesome details later on. We love having studs all over the sides. One of the modern building conventions that I very much love. Ah, love this stuff. Can't get enough of it. Which is a shame because it's pretty much expensive compared to uh, other like sparkling water products. But hey, what can I say? I've got expensive tastes. some sort of interior detail sure looks like it Oops. this little chest of drawers here is doing stuff I'm very curious I know about a few things we're doing but I don't know what's <laughs> we hadn't announced any of it yet so I don't know what people are talking about whatever it is it's got people excited little sink here cool and we got a big yellow crate and this is gonna be full of some stuff so let's see this is maybe like a flare gun, probably. Flare gun, get that in the crate. Got a couple of chalices here. Nice little green bottle. Details. I like this nice bright colorful yellow crate too. Got some sort of countertop or bar or something. Let's see. Make sure to get this grate tucked in Got another bottle 
they're partying in this cabin. Unless these are like San Pellegrinos. jammed back into our little furnace here. Love it. The sideways log stack. We just had one of these in our last build. The medieval bakery from Blue Bricks. So, yep, there we go. Gonna go right here. We got, oh, we got some milk. That's good. Chili Pepper Girl has been here, maybe. Chili Pepper Girl comes with some milk, too. Let's see. It says, oriented like that to the print, and then, hmm. Facing out like that. And then we've got a pot right here, so maybe this is a little range. That's cute. We got milk up on the counter along with a little pot next to the sink there. Um, let's see, flip it around. We're going to build up some other stuff here. six pieces. Looks really good though. Right there. Crate in the corner right here. Not quite the corner. One stud off. supposed to be red oh yeah it is okay kind of hard to tell apart the like red and the like ruddy brown and the uh, instructions sometimes It's a record. 
Oh, wow. That's cute. pulled out and they're looking at the dust jacket on this one this is terrible terrible record etiquette though never do that oh wow this is cute record player record player piece that's weird never seen that before salt lamp I'm gonna say it's supposed to be let's call it a salt lamp oh nice printed piece Lego yes indeed that's our welcome mat it looks like cool oh sick okay umbrella Umbrella holder. Nice. Little water bottle action right there. Okay, top of our cabinet. Also going to continue to build up the studs not on top, on the outside. Missing anything in this step? No, nope, I think I got it all. Bag number four. But what of all this stuff? I definitely missed some stuff. Oh, this is supposed to have an extra. Okay, interesting. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. Here, help me out. There we go. Thanks. Thanks for the hand. Thanks for lending a hand there. There we go. Okay, now this is all extra pieces. Okay, cute. Now, if you'll excuse me for just a moment, definitely going to take a picture of this record player to post onto a subreddit later. What's up, Arnab? Um, yeah, there is, um, there is, uh, 
be kind of hard to get to it now. Well, here I can show you. I'll show you on the uh, on the instructions here. We got. There was like an Italian flag, curiously. Perhaps one of the designers, or maybe the maybe the original designer of the ideas was of Italian descent. Yeah, there's like this little Italian flag uh, kind of tr thing here. There's this thing. Whatever that is. Let me flip back to where it was built here. It's like right at the very beginning you build all this little hidden stuff. Yeah, we've got this thing. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Cardboard box, maybe? Cardboard box with the flaps slightly ajar from each other. Something like that. And then there is also a uh, acorn hidden in there, in the floor. So yeah, a couple couple little hidden things and a couple cool building techniques so far. These are all hammers that were, uh, let's see, is there a good way to, yeah, I can pop this off, show it. Hammers held in by side stud oriented pieces and then uh, these are attached to C-clips that clipped onto these bars. So that's how those got put in there. Pretty neat. Definitely some cool stuff going on so far. All these cute, cute little details that we're used to seeing in sets like this. Pretty adorable. And uh, yeah, just in time for. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I and I actually I went to uh, I went to great lengths to try to get them as close as I could, but um, yeah, you can see there's definitely still some still some variations in there, and yeah, depending on how you wanted to build it, you could have them be quite wobbly if you wanted, um, but they have plenty of room to wobble like that without putting any stress on it at all, which is definitely cool. Um, yeah, a little bit of like customization in there. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat little technique. And we're uh, just ready for bag number four here. Probably the last bag we're gonna do today. I've got a couple things I need to do before I uh, uh, leave for, I have a shift tonight, which I don't normally have on Mondays. But I'm um, just about to go on vacation, and I'm trying to work up some hours in advance so that I don't use all of my PTO uh, only a quarter of the way into the year here. So we will be off next Monday I'm going to be in well, let's see on Monday I will be in Berlin uh, first time leaving America since I was 17 I went to Canada for a couple of days so it's going to be quite different from that experience and uh, yeah but then the following Monday the Third, April 3rd, we'll be back at this set here. All right, let's see here. Piece right here. Mirror this, it looks like. Bring 
up some studs on the side here. And then on the other side, we've some C clips. on these C clips. Definitely seen more mold errors than I'm accustomed to with Lego. It's nothing like so noticeable or terrible, but like all four of these C clips have that same same spot from the injection molder. What are you gonna do? Hoping for a busy night tonight at the restaurant. I'm taking deliveries, and it'd be oh, it'd be so great to just have a little bit of extra cash to leave with here. Got my euros ordered, and I got my bank alerted to my card being used out of the country. All right, a little cleaver hanging down. A little fire extinguisher action here. do we got for the wall here got a couple other little implements of some such kind maybe a screwdriver and a wrench I think there is a screwdriver piece I don't know what this is supposed to be Pretty cool though. All right, let's see. And then uh, flip it. Okay, so on the underside, we'll add a few more studs on this side here. These are the these pieces. Chomp, chomp, chomp. A couple of little spacers in here. And a spacer right in the middle. Okay. This is going to go right along our back wall here, so. So. up this uh, cleaver a little bit kind of stressed there there we go okay so we got all fire extinguisher right by our stove there not a bad uh, placement for it and plenty of studs on the outside here with which to add detailing on a later bag windows here maybe the maybe they'll stick out a little oh interesting some sort of readout dial on the side here Side, a little dial on the side there. Pretty cool. Look 
eyes focus. I'm gonna have a hard time getting it to focus back down. Here again. Let's see. Focus. All right. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Yes. So, yes, this is sticking out a little bit here by one block. Something drop down on the side too. Just a little red ingot piece here. Not really sure what that's all about, but it's gonna go right here. So right on the other side, also sticking out by one stud, which will probably look pretty natural. Like all this stuff is gonna add like a half a block of depth of whatever whatever side paneling we're going to have on here. Let's see. Get a little bit more detail done up in here. Yeah, every single one of these gray C clips has that same same spot. It's not a pistol though, it's going to be a, a faucet for the sink. Haha, uh -huh. it's pretty cool. quite cool. Let's see. We got next some panels on the front here. Couple of them just the same as this it looks like. I should say one more just the same as this. have like their little stuff on the side. They're all a little bit different. I don't know what they're all supposed to represent, but that's okay. 
Maybe we'll figure it out as we go here. Right, so that sticks out over these panels we just placed. And presumably sail on the other side. Oh, not quite yet. First, got a little section of wall, it looks like. Keep just periodically adding in some studs not on top. Pretty nice. Other side, get out something similar. going to be holding our guitar here. That's cool. I love a guitar. See how low we can drop this down here. It looks like it's supposed to be yeah, plenty of room. Okay, so we got our guitar hanging just inside the door there. Pretty nice. Right by the turntable as well. Our last window on here. player. So that's cool. So you'll be able to see the record player from through the window. That's nice since that's a detail I really, really enjoy. Um, let's see. Okay. Interesting. These guys stick out into the room a little bit here. See what those get turned into. But first, shall put on our door here. Door handle is one of our nice little wood knots. That's cute. And then looks like the other door frame just sits inside there, uh, oriented like so. Oh, I'm just going to slot that down because the guitar is kind of blocking it there. Okay, there we go. That opens right up. Go through, sticks out the same way the window frames do. Makes sense. Looks nice and... Uh, balanced with those windows. Oh. Let's see here. A bit more of this green. This is going to sit on top of our door here. Sits right on top. 
top. Okay, great. That keeps those door frames connected at the top, which is great. Get a little bit of extra stability going on. We love that always. wall here mirrored on the other side is this whatever these C clips are for it's gonna be mirrored so right here cool airwolf how you doing Thanks for dropping by. Okay, so mirrored on all four sides. We're on our we're on our last. Uh, oh well, actually not quite mirrored because this is gonna have the C clips in the interior position. Um, pretty good. We've been having a nice little stream here. We're on our we're on our final bag of the day here. Um, Got to. Uh, Got to go into work later, as I don't normally have to do on Mondays, but I'm trying to get some extra hours in early on in the week uh, so that when I leave on Friday, I'm not just like cutting into PTO right from the jump. Try to save a little bit of my PTO to use later in the year if possible. Um, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a chill day, I think. I don't think Monday nights are usually too terribly busy. So, but yeah, I've been having a pretty good day so far. I went and uh, next next week uh, I leave on this Friday, so next Monday I will be gone. Um. Oh, nice. This is a little vent hood here over the, over the stove there. Um, so yeah, just, just, uh, getting ready to leave. I'm, uh, gonna be, uh, when I finish this bag and wrap up the stream, gonna, uh, do a little bit of pre-packing. I've already got my packing list and everything ready to go. I've got my passport. I've got uh, some euros ordered from my bank. I've got my travel uh, accommodations set up. Not accommodations. What am I trying to say? Like I alerted my bank that I'd be abroad and everything like that. So, it is, it is drawing near, but yeah, next Monday, oh, I will be, uh, indisposed, but then that following Monday, April 3rd, I should be back. I'm probably going to be wicked tired, so it might be, might be a short stream. We'll see. But I do have that Monday and Tuesday off to uh, relax before I go back to work. So we'll see. Depends on how jet lagged I am and stuff like that. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, look at this furnace. This is cool. But yeah, my phone's been blowing up all this whole stream. My friends are talking about travel plans, and my band made some announcement today. I don't know. But I've been getting a ton of band notifications, too. So. I got like a thousand notifications on my phone to check when I get done here. Alright, so this right here is going to get our stove or heater 
Got the uh, fire extinguisher right next to it. Definitely a good call. Little pipe. Pipe doesn't really uh, connect up to anything there, does it? Okay, there we go. I didn't have the furnace. Little birdhouse? I haven't seen that yet. I'm excited. There was a little birdhouse in uh, the in the tree house. That's fun. So both, I'm going to have this on a display with my tree house set. So they'll both be little bird enthusiasts. That'll be nice. Let's see. I got a couple other things on this in here. Okay. Two of these. Where does this go? On the C clip. Okay, so these are like light little lights or something. And this holds a frying pan. Very good. Gotta have multiple. So we got the cast iron and the frying pan. I hope this gets something on the outside to represent that there's a furnace hooked up to it. That'd be cool. Okay. Let's see. There. These. Six by ones get everything nice and secure. You know we like that. pieces here. These are going to go right here. Okay. And right here. Cool. It's a nice kind of birch color. Side is a little different. Okay. Big block. Interesting. It sticks forward. Yeah, it sticks forward. That's interesting. That is interesting. This printed piece was in the uh, blacksmith set too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I did this wrong. It's not even interesting. Goes down here. And then we get a two. I wonder why these are being exposed, left exposed. Oh, 
Oh, stairs, I see. Okay, and that's what this is, too. It's the start of the staircase. Very interesting. Okay, so this goes right here. And up here, definitely got two hands for this. Okay, let's see. Come on. There we go. Neat. Okay. So there's our stairs. Everything tucked away underneath there. That's great. And this up here. And interesting. A little red piece on the stairs. I wonder what that's all about. Hopefully it's not blood. Okay, more red pieces on the stairs. Very curious, very, very curious. Okay, and then we got These guys. Go all around the corners here. Our studs facing out. down planter here okay we got our nice little sign here hangs right above the door okay boards at the top of the stairs Some sort of nice modular connectivity here. All right, and that's the end of the bag. Okay, so that'll do it. That'll do it for this week. Get everything tidied up here a little bit. Um, he upset it a couple of times already, but we'll just say it one more time. Going to be on vacation next week. So next Monday, the 27th, we will be off, but we will be back at it on Monday the 3rd to continue our set here. Uh, really cool so far. Love all the little interior homey details we've got going on in here. And uh, yeah, feels build feels very sturdy and secure. Don't have to worry too much about the kitties doing a destroy on this while I'm out of town. I think it'll be safe. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. Let's raid out. Who's on? What? I wish it would show everyone. Just raid out brick shop here, local brick shop. Cool. Looks like he's in doing some minifigure sorting. Um, so yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for uh, watching. As always, appreciate you stopping by. Um, really excited for this vacation. So I'm sorry I'm gonna miss next week, but I am gonna have a really great time. I'm really stoked about it. So we'll see you in a couple of weeks, and have a great time until then. Bye bye.